All right, what's up, everyone? I uh, got a break here for you today. Hopefully, everyone's doing great on this Saturday afternoon. I'm um, excited to open up these boxes for everybody, see what I can find in these uh, Panini contenders. I found these at the local Target earlier this week. I've been hanging on to them for the week, and I think it's about time to bust these things open. Hopefully, we can find something great in here. i uh, excited because there is one autograph per box on average hopefully that average is out to two today because i really want to find an autograph in these things um you know so these retail boxes so never opened up the the contenders this year they've got like tickets on them uh with different stats for each player so hopefully we can find some cool rookie cards um inside of here and hopefully the autos are of uh good players hopefully so Appreciate everyone checking out the video. If you're not subscribed, maybe subscribe. Maybe uh, hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section if you wouldn't mind. Let me know what you guys think about this product. But I'll be breaking baseball for you guys right now. Let's start out with this box. Hopefully it's going to provide something awesome uh, inside of here. If you guys checked out the last video, I had a uh, mega box of uh 2020 update it's a pretty awesome box i want to say it was an awesome box because i pulled this awesome card out of it if you didn't check it out it was like a two-parter video i had to do a two-parter because my, my phone ran out of storage but either way i pulled this thing a bow rookie debut father's day card super legit i was thinking of selling it i'm thinking about sending it in i don't know what i'm going to do with it um it looks pretty good. It probably would grade at a 9, I would think. You can kind of see like the indention on the number on the front here if you actually look kind of close. And there's a little bit of a uh, white corner down in this corner. You probably can't even see it, but maybe about right there. That corner. So I would hope that it would grade at a 9 if I did send it in. Um, I don't know. I'm collecting bows, so I think I want to hang on to it. Let me know what you guys think. Should I hang on to it? Should I send it in? Or should I just sell it? I don't know. What do you guys think? Anyways, here we go. Panini Contenders 2021, 2, 3, 4, 5 packs. First box up. Let's see what we can find inside of this guy. Hopefully it's some cool stuff. We got an Arenado right there on the back. And here we go. So here's the layout, season ticket layout right there. Uh, yeah. It's cool cards. For you guys, I mean, I, I think I've seen them somewhere already where these uh, numbers are. I think that's the player number. And these, I totally forgot what they were. I totally forgot what they were. Runs or RBIs or something, I'm not sure. 100% sure. Leave a comment, let me know which, if you know what they are. Just so... Uh, get some clarification on that so Alex Bregman to start it off we got a Chuck Nasty Charlie Blackman here is a check that one out it's a numbered card it's a Reese Hoskins refractor numbered out of 99 number 83 of 99 that's a pretty cool uh, refractor right there nice Hoskins card Next up, we have Brian Reynolds from the Pittsburgh Pirates and a game day Nolan Arenado card. I do PC Nolan cards. I'm hoping to see him in some Dodger blue maybe this uh, upcoming year. I don't know. Next pack up. Let's see. Again, looking for an auto in here. We have a Matt Boyd. Next one, there's a Vladdy Jr. These, I mean, basically look like base cards. There's a Tatis coming up. They're not numbered or anything. These are just base cards. These are nice, though. I, I think the design is just uh, fresh design, new design. I'm kind of staring at uh, 2020 Top Series 1, 2, and Update now. So these are a change of pace in the Panini panini world you know no logos or anything but i still think these are nice cards check that tatis out that's a pretty nice card right there pretty sweet 
the back of it. Pretty nice card. Next one up, we got a Brian Anderson. And here is a insert of an up-and-coming Christian Robinson. Diamondbacks, up-and-coming card. So these got their own uh, inserts in here, too. So those are cool. And some of these packs, these Panini packs are a challenge. Bear with me, guys, here. The first two weren't that bad. This one is bad. All right, here we go. First card up we got is a JT Realmuto. Next one we got a future Hall of Famer, Justin Verlander. Eduardo Escobar. And a Matt Chapman right there. Last card, Andrew Vaughn. Future Stars, Andrew Vaughn. For the White Sox fans out there. Alright. Keeping it moving here. Keeping it moving. Alright. We got a David Fletcher. I think we got some... Uh, that's just an insert in the back. I was going to say, I think we got some color in here. It's just the last card. It's probably just another insert. Juan Soto. Soto. It's a nice card. Next one, Mike Clevenger. Yeah, Mike Clevenger. Right there. We got a Chris Paddock. I think Paddock's going to be a good player. It's interesting, the color selection on here. I know the Padres, they don't have a lick of green in them, I guess. Unless they're wearing their uh, camo uniforms. Even then, it's not green. It's like a dark Dark green. Matthew Libitor. Potential card. Right, we got two packs left. I hope that uh, on average disclaimer on the front of the box doesn't uh, come to haunt us. <laughs> I hope I get an autograph in one of these. Javi Baez right here. We got a Trevor Story. Okay, so I think the auto is in here because that's a upside down card. So I'm going to go from the back. We have a first rounders. What is that? Robert Hassel. Okay. Flip this over. There's a Cody Bellinger right here. Belly Bombs. So that's a cool card. And we'll, we'll leave this on the back, and then we'll flip it over. And we'll see, do the slow reveal here of who do we got, who do we got. So there's a Panini. It's a nice dark blue card. So it's kind of twisted up a little bit. Looks like it's a batter with a blue helmet. Batter with a blue helmet. I have no idea who this is going to be. It is a number 74. Let's just go for it. We have a Travis Blankhorn, Blankenhorn. Man, that name is very hard to see. I have no idea. Let's flip it over. Let's take a look at it. It's not a uh, prime player or anything. There's the story. Uh, let's flip this over. Travis Blankenhorn, yeah. From the Minnesota Twins. It's kind of hard to see the name on the front there, but the back is pretty clear. So that's our first auto uh, right there. Let me just uh, get a little sleeve here. Let's sleeve this guy up just because it is an auto. Any of the Twins fans that are out there, if you can shed some light on if this guy is like your number one prospect waiting in the wings or something. But I think I'd rather get a position player than a pitcher, that's for sure, so... Travis Blankenhorn. If you know about him, leave something in the comments. Give me a heads up. Keep them. Sell them. And the last pack on this first blaster. 
Let's see who we can find in here. Frankie Lindor. Whoa. Oh, knock the camera over. Real good. Frankie Lindor right there. We got a Jake Flaherty. Next one. Of course, got to save the Trout cards. Best player in the game. As a Dodger fan, I can say that still. Best player in the game, Mike Trout. Austin Meadows, good young player. And we got the Nolan Express, the Ryan Express right here. Nolan Ryan. Legacy card. It's a pretty sweet card. So that's going to do it for our first box. Let's just jump right in. Right into the second one. See what we can find in here. Uh, what do you guys think about that first one? I mean, auto is in there, so that's cool. I've got a handful of stuff. Handful of PC cards. One relic numbered card. That's, that's cool. Ah, oh, man. Look at that. I really hope that this these cards are not busted up. I don't even understand how that would happen. Like, you see that? Like, whoever boxed this up, like, made it a point to push, shove that down. Oh, man. That's... I really hope nothing is messed up in here. There's a security thing. I hope nothing is creased. I hope nothing is badly damaged. I hope not. I mean... Keep your fingers crossed with me. Two, three, four, five, six. Didn't find any of the uh, any big rookies in that first box, so hopefully, hopefully we can get a good rookie in here, or a good auto in here, or something. Let's find out. Here we go. First card up, Zion Moncada. We got a drawer, Jorge Polanco. And so this one is a, there's a relic or a, some kind of a parallel. Right there is a Joey Gallo. Moonshot home run, Joey Gallo. Numbered out of 99, 39 out of 99. That's a nice card. Next one, we got another Vladdy. I wonder if there's different types of these cards in here. There's a Belly Bombs winning ticket. I'm going to just check this other Vladdy that we got real quick. I just want to... Just kind of curious. So, there's different... I think I've seen that there's different uh, versions. I guess P's on here. So, here's the one we just pulled. Here's the one that we pulled out of the other box. So, ideally... It's like the same card. But... The foil in it... On this one is green. And this one it's silver... It's literally the same card, but just those are the differences. Numbering is the same. Wording is the same. But the Panini Contenders and the trims and all the information on the player is different. Look at the backs. I mean, the backs are pretty much the same, too. Nothing is really popping out that's completely different, but I don't know. If you know what the deal is with that... One's a regular base. The other might be an SP or something like that. Whatever Panini decided to do. So, let me know. If you know, let me know. I have no idea. Alright. Next pack coming up. We got a future Hall of Famer in Yadi Molina. Right there. He's probably not even going to be a Cardinal next year. Hard to picture him in another uniform other than a Cardinals uniform. Cattell Marte. He's a good player. Kind of had an off year. I don't know, in the shortened season. We got a Jacob DeGrom right here. Very nice card. Multiple Cy Youngs for that. Very, very good pitcher. See, here's a, a real Muto. Same thing with this. I know that we pulled... Where is that real Muto? Yeah. So, look at it. So, again, this was in the last box. Uh, silvers and then this one's green so let me know what the deal is with that I'm thinking it's just a different variation of the card SP variation or something and we got a legacy card of the kid Griffey Jr. sweet 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 card okay on to the next pack
Wow, where are the rookies at? I have no rookies in here. At least none of the rookies that I'm looking for. I don't think I pulled any rookies yet. Charlie Morton. We got a Hunter Dozier. DJ LeMayhew had a really nice season for the Yanks last year. Another David Fletcher. Again, I know I pulled this Fletcher. I'm not going to pull him out, but again, with the green on here versus the silver on the uh, regular style card. And a Reed Detmers. First rounders. Kind of winding it down here. We got three packs left. I thank you guys for checking out the video. Hopefully, I'll be able to continue to find cards. I haven't really gone out to look other than earlier this week when I found uh, the Mega Box and uh, this box. We got a Luis Castillo, underrated pitcher, very good pitcher for the Reds. There's a Manny Machado. We got a Matt Olson, who I think just got a uh, one-year option deal with the A's for like $5 million, I think. So they're going to keep him around. Didn't really hit well for average this year, but you know what? It's all good. Different season coming up that he can redeem himself. Juan Soto. There's that green in there instead of the silver, I think. Like the first one. And we got a Future Stars card of Tyler Friedman. Two packs left, two packs left. Still looking for the auto. Come on. Give us a good auto. Or a good rookie. Paul Goldschmidt. Paul Goldschmidt right here. Next one is Joey Bats. So here's our auto coming up. Man, look at the... Whatever auto this is, the back of this card is busted like look at that that is horrible i know you can you guys see that like if this was like a Luis robert or something crazy like i would love to get it sent in but this thing would grade so bad look at the bottom of that card i'm kind of bummed out i don't even know who it is or what it is uh well we'll find out so back card is tony gwynn legendary tony gwynn we have a Frankie Lindor, again with the green. And we'll flip this over. Frankie Lindor is now the slow reveal card. It's yellow. And it's, what is this, a redemption card? I have no idea what this is. Penny Rewards. Okay, so upside here, it looks like it's a redemption, I think. I Or maybe I'm totally off. I have no idea what this card is. Maybe it's not a redemption. Maybe it's some kind of coupon. <laughs> I'm slow revealing a coupon, maybe. 150 points. What is this? 150 points. <laughs> send, send code to get the Panini Rewards app. I have no idea what this is. All right. Well, <laughs> sorry, guys. Okay, there's a code on the back of this thing that I guess I get 150 points of Panini Rewards. Um, I have no idea what I can redeem on the Panini Rewards website, so I really hope that wasn't uh, the hit. I really, really hope that wasn't the hit. Um, I guess it doesn't matter that that uh, top edge of that rewards card is kind of messed up. But I, oh man, I really hope it's, that wasn't the, kind of threw me off. Panini, you guys are uh, tricksters. Here we go. Last pack. I do not have another autograph. And if that was the uh, big card in that box, I'm kind of bummed out. We got Anthony Rendon. We have a Christian Yelich. Buster Posey. Oh, gosh, that was... Oh, man, I can't believe it. Oh, I'm super bummed out. Buster Posey, Jack Flaherty, and a Oscar Colas International Potential card. Man, get out of here, Panini. <laughs> I'm so bummed out. Well, I guess why that's why they put the uh, whole one autograph uh, per box on average on there. 150 points, though. Hopefully that buys me uh, something cool on the Panini website. I have no idea. 
Anyways, guys, I appreciate you checking out the video. Sorry we only got one auto to get excited about. We got no rookies. Um, I'm not sure what I think about this product. Maybe it was not for me. Uh, either way, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Uh, hopefully I'll get some cards for you guys real soon. We'll break them open, see what we can find in the next one. But like always, I'll be breaking baseball for you guys sooner than later, hopefully. Talk to you guys later. Have a good Saturday. Adios.